بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹوڈیز لیب از اباؤٹ امیج رجسٹریشن اینڈ امیج ریکٹیفیکیشن ابھی ول فالو اور ٹائم لائن ایز واٹ از امیج رجسٹریشن واٹ از امیج ریکٹیفیکیشن اینڈ واٹ از دی بیسک ڈفرینس بٹوین امیج رجسٹریشن امیج ریکٹیفیکیشن اینڈ یو ریفرنسنگ اینڈ دین وی ول بی پرفارمنگ دس لیب پریکٹیکلی in the first section we will perform image registration in the next section we will perform image rectification and then we will be finally concluding our lab so starting from the first image registration it is very simple if you align an image based on an other another image so that is called as image registration so it is basically an image to image alignment or image to image your referencing or image to image geo matching right and image rectification instead of image if you have some vector layer some shape file or some map so if you align an image based on the shape file based on the vector map so that is called as image rectification so uh, image registration is simply an image to image alignment image rectification is an image to a map or an image to a vector file or a shape file alignment right geo referencing is very simple it is simply defined as if you have a sheet and you assign coordinates to its corner or to other points and make it so that it matches the true coordinates so that is geo referencing that is simple a if you have a sheet and you align assign some coordinates to the sheet so the uh, difference between the three is image registration is basically an image to image al alignment image rectification is image to map or image to a shape file or image to a vector alignment and geo referencing is simply aligning a map by assigning the ground coordinates using gps so now in the next section we will perform this lab practically now as a first step what we have to do is to perform an image registration image registration is simply an image to image alignment now we will add our data here i have an image registration folder my raw image we have to select it and click okay now this is an image right which needs some rectification which needs some regi uh, registration or uh, some alignment so what we have to do now is to follow the manual provided you on your folder share folder now as a first step we have added our image next step is to go to uh, go and select the control points so we have to select the multi spectral in multi spectral we have to select the control points and in the control points once you uh, clicked on the control points a window is going to appear now in this window the first thing we have to select a model list once our model list is selected we have to define the geometric model now here we are going to use the polynomial model there are other options as available as well so we have to select the polynomial and click okay once you click the polynomial model this window is going to appear now this is basically a gcp tool reference setup now when performing an image to image registration we need to select that our reference point collection is image layer and when uh, in the next part when we will be performing image to map rectification in that case we will use a vector layer so in this case we select the image layer and click okay now here browse to our folder and select the correct image which is geo uh, referenced or rectified image just click it and okay now click okay again now here polynomial model properties are option available now in this you can select the order 1 2 and you can select the transformation and projection information so just select one and click apply close now here in this window by default number of gcps they are selected so these gcps the selected gcps we have to drag and select 
right click and we have to click delete so all the gcps which were existing earlier they are now deleted now the next phase what we have to do is to fit our image to window right and select this gcp icon now in taking the gcps what we have to do is to identify the common area in the two images for example you can see this corner uh, river corner and this river corner they are identifiable so we have to mark the first point over here and the second point over here now this is gcp1 this is gcp1 in both the windows right so uh, this is the method to uh, add the gcps now what you have to do is to select different section of the image right for example this corner if that is visible in both the images so mark another gcp over here right in the same way at mark at least 10 to 12 gcps and uh, after marking 10 to 12 gcps we will start again now here i have taken about 10 to 12 gcps now one thing to note down is that you can change the band combination by right click band combination and apply the band combination of your choice and the second thing is to rotate the image if you see that your area is in one image it is rotated and the other is no, it is not so you can rotate this and make the image uh, more visually correct so that you can see the things in the both image you can apply left and apply right so this is the method of taking the gcps now once you have the gcps taken uh, the next step is to uh, perform the resampling uh, by clicking the resample image dialog now in this window here you can see that we have a resample image dialog what is resampling is basically when you will align your un uh, unregistered image with the registered image so it will uh, get pixel value in each particular cell so that for that pixel value we have a resampling dialog in this resampling dialog box important thing is to note that there are four to uh, different methods which me uh, you may have covered in one is nearest neighbor bilinear cubic and bicubic so these four uh, algorithms they must be kept in known for exam questions as well at which resampling method is more appropriate right so uh, we have to specify our file with this name rectified URF right and in resampling we will be using nearest neighbor with 20 meter xy so here we will be saving our file in our directory in raw image and i will be selecting nearest neighbor and the cell value of 20 by 20 output cell size and check the ignore zero ignore zero in stats now just click ok the process will be executed now once the process is completed you will add your rectified GRF image here and you will see that it will uh, overlay on your uh, correct image right earlier it was not and now it is uh, corrected so it is overlap now you can use the swipe tool and see that how correct is your uh, alignment right so it is accurate you can improve it by selecting more accurate points and by specifying accurate and good parameters for multiple gcps so this is the basic method of performing image registration we will just quickly revise it that image registration is simply an image to image alignment you have to specify gcps and you have to go to the raster and multi you have to go to multispectral select the control points right and uh, 
your raw image was early, added earlier now the, in the next step what we have to do is to open your uh, rectified image with corrected image and you have to take the gcps on one by one but on different location if you have minimum of three gcps for first order polynomial uh, then you can also perform uh, your image registration we have to specify your output we have to select the algorithm you have to specify the cell, cell size and you have to click the ignore zeros instead and click ok so important thing for first order polynomial which we have used if you have three gcps the process will be completed successfully and if you have other higher number of gcps then uh, for that purpose you have a formula i will be sharing it with you uh, that formula will be used to calculate how much gcps minimum gcps they are required now for uh, the, in order to calculate the minimum number of gcps which you require we have this formula that is t plus 1 multiplied by t plus 2 divided by 2 if you have the first order then that is uh, 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6 divided by 2 3 so for first order polynomial we uh, have to specify minimum number of gcps that are 3 so i hope now image registration is clear what image registration is and how to perform it the uh, image registration in LDAS image now in the next phase we are going to uh, calculate or perform the and we are going to perform the image rectification